All right, so in this video, I thought it'd be really cool to record the journey down a really, really long hill and how regenerative braking works. So I just want to record the uh, the mileage so I know. I actually, I don't, I've never tracked the, the mileage here um, on how far down this hill, but this is one of the longest uh, hills in Colorado that I know of. And um, what will actually happen is uh, because of the regenerative braking on the Tesla, it's actually going to add uh, quite a few miles. Uh, in fact, let me uh, let me see if I can show you exactly how, how where I'm headed here. So you can see the, uh, the the trip estimator there at the very end. And then what I'll do is I'll switch to energy consumption, and then we'll uh, we'll put this up on the little foam dock and uh, a little malfunction with my there we go. All right, so you can also look at the beautiful view as I go down a hill. a really really cool hill well maybe not so cool when it's snowing and especially when uh, you've got out of town out of town people going down this hill because it can get a little bit crazy but uh, really fun in the Tesla because after a while you start producing uh, range back on the battery What I'll probably do here in a moment is try and grab the phone again and show you the energy that, that, that it starts producing. Now I've done another video, I've done a couple of videos actually on regenerative braking. And uh, so you should check those out. In fact, I'll link them up at the end of this video. But Regenerative braking is a really, really cool feature of an electric car, and Teslas, I think, have really figured it out quite well, but imagine if you were going down the hill in a gasoline car, the way that regenerative braking works would be like if you were in a gasoline car, and as you're going down the hill, you're actually putting gasoline, more gasoline back into the uh, gas tank. It's kind of how regenerative braking works. So um, it uses the motor's uh, friction to send energy back into the battery. So basically when you're not, when you don't have your foot on the accelerator or when you take your foot off of the accelerator, it's actually using that friction to um, put range back into the battery. So hopefully that makes sense. And if there's someone who knows regenerative braking, uh, really, really well. Feel free and, and uh, put, com uh, put a comment down below. But in fact, uh, when I get a chance here, I'll, I'll actually let me. Uh, I want to show you. It's actually putting energy back into the battery as as we're going downhill here. So I want to show that to you. I just want to get into the the uh, non-passing lane here, so I don't piss some people off. got about 4.4 miles left before uh, we, we get off of the highway before we really reach the, the bottom of this this hill it's really more than a hill I suppose it's it's a mountain going down the mountain all right so I should be able to get over Beautiful. That view. Love going down this mountain. Alright. Now we should be able to cruise a little bit, hopefully. I'll show you what that looks like here. Uh, 
uh, maybe for safety purposes, I'll, I'll keep it in the, in the phone dock until I actually reach the bottom. I can still show you the energy that it's producing um, on the uh, trip estimator, or rather the, uh, the, the consumption graph. So for the meantime, enjoy the amazing view. here since I'm at a stopping point so check that out so you can see at the very at the very peak as I entered out of the Eisenhower tunnel and then going all the way down I've actually generated some range how much um, let's look at the end mileage there so really really great regenerative braking 